Welcome to my channel, where I share some insights from God's Word, and how they apply to our lives. Today, I want to talk about a topic, that is very relevant for all of us, how God can use anyone for His purposes, even if they are weak, or fearful. Sounds amazing, right? Let's dive in. Have you ever felt, like you are not good enough for God? Like you don't have what it takes, to serve Him or, to fulfill His plans for your life? Do you feel like you are too young, too old, too inexperienced, too unqualified, too broken, too messed up, or too whatever? Do you look at yourself, and you see only your flaws, and failures? Or maybe, you compare yourself to others, and you feel inferior or inadequate. Then you think that God only uses people, who are strong, confident, talented, successful, or perfect. If you feel this way, I have some good news for you, God can use anyone, for his purposes, even if they are weak, or afraid. He looks at your hearts, and willingness to obey him, rather than your external appearance or ability. Gideon was a man who lived in Israel, during a time, when the nation was oppressed, by the Midianites, a powerful enemy that would raid their crops, and livestock every year. The Israelites were so afraid of the Midianites, that they hid in caves, and mountains. Gideon was one of them. He was threshing wheat, in a wine press, trying to hide from the enemy, when an angel of the Lord appeared to him, and said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Judges 6 verse 12. Mighty warrior? Gideon was anything, but a mighty warrior. He was a nobody, from the weakest clan of the weakest tribe of Israel. He was scared and insecure. He had no army, no weapons, no experience, no reputation, and no confidence. How could God call him, a mighty warrior? But that's exactly, what God did. He called Gideon, to lead the Israelites against the Midianites, and deliver them from their oppression. He promised to be with him and to give him victory. He saw something in Gideon, that Gideon did not see in himself, potential. But Gideon did not believe God, at first. He doubted his calling and his ability. He asked God for signs, and proofs that he really chose him. He tested God's word, and God's patience. He was afraid of his own people, and his own family. He was afraid of the Midianites, and their allies. He was afraid of failure, and rejection. But God was gracious, and patient with Gideon. He did not reject or punish him for his doubts, and fears, but he confirmed his word to him with signs, and wonders. He did not abandon or forsake him when he faced challenges and enemies, but he encouraged him with his voice and his vision. He did not leave him alone in his mission, but he provided him with resources and allies. God also did something surprising with Gideon. He reduced his army from 32,000 men to 300 men. Why? Because he wanted to show Gideon, and the Israelites that the victory was not by their own strength, or wisdom, but by God's power and grace. He wanted them to trust him, and not themselves. He wanted them to give him all the glory, and not take any credit for themselves. And that's what happened. With only 300 men armed with trumpets, jars, and torches, Gideon attacked the Midianite camp at night and caused them to panic and flee. The Lord fought for Israel, and gave them a great victory, over their enemies. We believe, we are weak and sinful. We do not put our faith in God, and disregard God's works, and disobey His commands. When we are terrified of our surroundings, and our adversaries and doubtful about God's promises and power, we are tempted to put our faith in ourselves, and our abilities. But God is faithful to His promises, even when we are unfaithful, to Him. He does not abandon us or forget us, but He disciplines us when we sin, and calls us to repentance. He is merciful and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. He is sovereign. He sees the plight of his people, and hears their cry for help. He remembers his promises, and acts on their behalf. He chooses whom he wills, to accomplish his purposes, and he equips them with his presence, and power. God can use you for his purposes, even if you are weak or fearful. He does not look at your outward appearance, or abilities, but at your hearts, and willingness to obey him. And he is gracious and patient, he will not reject you for your fears, and doubts. He does not abandon, or forsake you, but he is with you, even in facing your challenges. Though you are weak and sinful, God called you, and empowered you to follow him, and serve him in his kingdom. He gives you gifts, and abilities to do his will. 
He works in you, and through you by His Spirit, He enables you to overcome your weaknesses and fears by His grace. God is with us in our battles, and He will give us victory if we trust Him and follow His instructions. He can do more with a few faithful people than with many who rely on their own strength or wisdom. The story of Gideon teaches us many lessons about God's power, grace, and faithfulness. It is a story is one of God's incredible graces, in which a fearful man is transformed into a mighty warrior, a scared nation, into a victorious people, and a hopeless situation into a magnificent triumph. It is also a story that encourages us to believe in God, fulfill His commands, and give Him all the glory. So, let's not be discouraged by our limitations or intimidated by our challenges. Let's not be ashamed of our weaknesses or proud of our strengths. Let's not rely on ourselves or compare ourselves to others. Let's remember that God can use anyone for His purposes, even if they are weak or fearful. Let's remember that He does not look at our outward appearance or abilities, but at our hearts and willingness to obey Him. Let's remember that He is with us and for us, and that He will accomplish His plans in us and through us, for His glory and our good. Let's be like Gideon, mighty warriors in God's eyes, not because of who we are, but because of who He is. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your power and your presence in my life. I thank you that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and that your kingdom is not in word, but in power. I confess that I am weak and weary, and that I need your strength and your grace every day. I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit and to increase the power of the weak. I pray that you would help me to be strong in the Lord and in the strength of your might. I pray that you would equip me with the whole armor of God so that I can stand against the schemes of the devil. I pray that you would guard my tongue and help me to speak words of life and blessing, not death and cursing. I pray that you would help me to love your word and to eat its fruits. I pray that you would use me for your glory and your purposes and that you would do great things through me. I pray that you would remind me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I pray that you would go with me wherever I go and that you would never leave me nor forsake me. I pray that you would make me strong and courageous and that you would take away all fear and dismay from my heart. I pray that you would renew my strength and make me soar like an eagle and that you would help me to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint. I pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, my Savior and my Lord. Amen. Thank you for listening and watching this video. I hope and pray it has encouraged you and inspired you. Please leave a comment below. And do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. God bless you.